Hello and welcome to another session of Yard and Garden. Um, we are at the almost at the end of the summer and today we're going to share with you the few projects we did uh, during the summer. We mowed our vegetable garden from the backyard to the side yard and we added two side yards uh, for the vegetable beds and also um, we built a small um, uh, storage a shed uh, we assembled actually uh, and uh, and also we built a small uh, ND arbor so we're gonna share uh, those four projects with you okay to start with uh, I bought four uh, yards of topsoil the compost normally I buy in yards we cannot buy in bags uh, we have to fill uh, more vegetable beds, uh, so we need more soil. As usual, uh, this is also a family involved, uh, complete family involvement uh, needed. So my, behind the scene you can see my wife and Moa, they are helping to dump the soil into the beds. So I set up uh, four uh, beds with the six by four size. Uh, and also I bought the weed barrier, heavy duty weed barrier, a weed blocker to cover the grass. You see the, the entry uh, pergola um, I set up, I showed in one of my uh, previous vlogs that how easily we can set up, it took like uh, an hour to set up this, uh, you know, entry arbor, entry pergola. Also, the seeds are from my uh, previous uh, cultivation. Um, got a lot of seeds, so the beans and the turia and everything. And also I have some uh, tapioca cut pieces. Moad is uh, helping to prepare the seeds. Here you go. Our plants are ready to grow and start giving, uh, you know, vegetables. Thanks God, we were able to produce a lot of uh, vegetables, spinach, beans, uh, different types of beans um, and uh, uh, spinach, different types of spinach and uh, also gourd, oh, a lot of uh, gourd, melon, you know, and turia, zucchini, uh, squash and chilies, different varieties of uh, chilies and, uh, you know, and um, cucumbers and tomatoes and uh, you know different types of melons and okra you know brinjal beans and uh, brinjal you can see and a lot of mints and that's a tindora different types of uh, you know cucumbers and uh, snake god and a lot of uh, different varieties of uh, vegetables So here is the project number one before and the project number one after. Project two, a, a small shed uh, storage to store the backyard tools. This is the storage I bought uh, Aero. I'm not publishing about the company but uh, um, for less than 300 bucks, uh, eight by six size. Um, whatever the price I paid, you know, it's worth uh, but it's really hard uh, to put together uh, the uh, instructions are not uh, clear uh, but I, I used to store all my uh, yard equipments and uh, tools uh, it's worth but you can do your own research I'm just giving you an idea here is the project 3 building uh, another vegetable but on the other side of the yard in this uh, smaller side yard also we want to put some grass on one side and then the other side uh, put some uh, fruit trees and other vegetables. 
we got some vegetable plants that started uh, you know uh, spreading uh, we want to put the net but at the same time we don't have enough uh, space to put the net uh, and i want to utilize the maximum i don't want to disturb the uh, the fence so i i'm sharing a sm smaller idea to put the net uh, you know without screw you know put any screws on the uh, fence Last year I showed you uh, different ways to put the net on, uh, on the side of the vegetable bed. This time I am showing you different ways um, to uh, maximum utilize the space, uh, not to disturb any of the, the ground. <coughs> Here is the project number three on the side yard, another uh, vegetable garden uh, before and after. Thank you for watching our vlogs. Uh, we hope you enjoyed all these uh, smaller projects. This is just for ins inspirational purpose only. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Please share, give us your comments and until we see you next time, bye-bye.